Hello friends, am I audible? Hello friends, am I audible? Please reply, am I audible? Please reply, am I audible? Okay, okay, okay. So here we start with. Okay, okay, okay. So here we start with. So we are starting up with the session now. Okay. So we are starting up with the fifth paper solving session on English language. So here we begin with it. Bacha lag ke ne me kuch nahi kar sakti ho sakti hai man so sorry. The network issues. Neither you can do anything nor I can do anything. Okay. So on behalf of Intellitics, I welcome you all and uh, all my apologies for being late and uh, we start with, I hope you have gone through the playlist being uploaded on this channel so that you could, you know, uh, also solve the other papers which have been already done. I guess we have done eight literature papers and four language papers. This is the fifth one that we are starting with. Okay, there is no lag issue for somebody. It's good. Arushi does not face any lag issue. So, maximum marks are 40. Time allowed is 1 hour, inclusive of the reading time. All questions are compulsory. And the marks intended for questions are given in the brackets. You need to select the correct option for each of the questions. Now, you have to, I mean, I shall read up the passage. You have to listen to me carefully. And then you will have to write, I mean, answer the questions. Okay. So, I start with the passage. In that last year at prep school in Shimla, there were four of us who were close friends. Bimal, whose home was in Bombay. Riaz, who came from Lahore. Bran, who hailed from Velour and your narrator who lived wherever his father, then in the Air Force, was posted. We called ourselves the Four Feathers, the feathers signifying that we were companions in adventure, comrades in arms, and knights of the round table. Bimal adopted a peacock's feather as his emblem. He was always a bit shy. Riaz chose a falcon's feather, although we couldn't find one. Bran and I were at first offered crows or murgis with us, but we protested vigorously and threatened a walkout. Finally, I settled for a parrot's feather taken from Mrs. Fisher's pet parrot, and Bran found the woodpeckers which suited him as he was always knocking things about. Bimal was all thin legs and arms, so light and frisky that at times he seemed to be walking on air. We called him Bambi after the delicate little deer in the Disney film. Riaz, on the other hand, was a sturdy boy, good at games, though not very studious, but always good natured, always smiling. Bran was a dark, good looking boy from the south. He was just a little spoiled, hated being given out in a cricket match and would refuse to leave the place, but he was affectionate and a loyal friend. I was the scribe, good at inventing stories in order to get out of scrapes, but hopeless at sums, my highest marks being 22 out of 100. On Sunday afternoons, when there were no classes or organized games, we were allowed to roam about on the hillside below the school. The four feathers would blaze about on the short summer grass, sharing the occasional food parcel from home 
reading comics, sometimes a book, and making plans for the long winter holidays. My father, who collected everything from stamps to seashells to butterflies, had given me a butterfly net and urged me to try and catch a rare species, which he said was found only near Chota Shimla. <coughs> he described it as a large purple butterfly with yellow and black borders on its wings. A purple emperor, I think it was called. As I wasn't very good at identifying butterflies, I would chase anything that happened to flit across the school grounds, usually ending up with common red admirals, clouded yellows or cabbage whites. But that purple emperor, that rare specimen, being sought by collectors the world over, proved elusive. I would have to seek my fortune in some other line of endeavor. One day, scrambling about among the rocks and thorny bushes below the school, I almost fell over a small bundle lying in the shade of a young spruce tree. On taking a closer look, I discovered that the bundle was really a baby, wrapped up in a tattered old blanket. This extract is being taken from the Four Feathers, an anthology collection for young readers by Raskin Bond. And we start with the questions based on this. Question A. For each word given below, choose the correct meaning as used in the passage from the options provided. The first question is frisky and your options are A. Lively, B. Talkative, C. Feathery. So what should be the answer which is the closest word to the word frisky? The correct answer for this question is A, that is lightning. Now question B, or rather question A, second sub-question, elusive. A, occasional. B, difficult to find. C, flighty. What does the word elusive really mean? And the correct answer is difficult to find. Now, the next, scrambling, which is the word which is close to this word, scrambling. A, running wildly. B, climbing quickly using hands. C, running hastily. Which is the word closest to the word, scrambling? And the correct answer for this is climbing quickly using hands. The name four feathers suggested that dash. A. They were birds of the same feather. B. They were King Arthur's knights of the round table. C. They were companions in adventure. And the correct answer for this question is C. They were companions in adventure. Question C. Bambi was a name given to Dash. A. Bran. B. Vimal. C. Riaz. And the correct answer for this question is B, women. Question D. Why did the narrator feel that Brand's feather suited him well? A. 
Bran chose a peacock's feather and it suited him well because he was showy. B. Bran chose a falcon's feather and it suited him well because he loved to flaunt it. C. Bran chose a woodpecker's, woodpecker's feather and it suited him well because he was always knocking things about. And the correct answer for this question is C. Bran chose a woodpecker's feather and it suited him well because he was always knocking things about. Question E. The four feathers spend their Sunday afternoons dash. A. Lazing on the grass, chasing birds and reading comics. B. Lazing on the grass, reading comics and making plans for the long winter holidays. C. Lazing on the grass, reading and sharing the food that came occasionally. And the correct answer for this question is B. Lazing on the grass, reading comics and making plans for the long winter holidays. Question F. Common red admirals, clouded yellows or cabbage whites are names of dash. A. Butterflies. B. Birds. C. Flowers. And the correct answer for this question is A. Butterflies. Question G. The expression to get out of scrapes means dash. A. To get out of disputes. B. To shake off a dull mood. C. To seek escape from troubles or awkward situations. And the correct answer for this question is C. To seek escape from troubles or awkward situations. Question H. What is known about the four feathers? A. The four feathers is a group of four close friends who, like the knights of the round table, fought secret wars, settled disputes and wore feathers. B. The Four Feathers is a group of four close friends who were companions in adventures and chose a feather each as his emblem. C. The Four Feathers is a group of four close friends who wore a feather each as a mark of loyalty to each other. And the correct answer for this question is B. The Four Feathers is a group of four close friends who were companions in adventures and chose a feather each as his Ella. Now question two. Fill in the blanks with the correct forms of the words provided after the passage. Whenever we first into bracket stock of the hill stations of Uttarakhand Nenital is always at the top of the list. Be it breathtaking landscapes or mesmerizing scenes, Nenital has it. Second, into brackets, locate 2000 meters above sea level. The Nani Lake is a fascinating thing to watch. I, third, into brackets, take a taxi to Nenital from New Delhi. As soon as the mountain journey, fourth, into brackets, commence. I immediately, fifth into brackets, feel the gush of cool and fresh air. It, sixth into brackets, refresh me and took away the lethargy that seventh into brackets engulf me. I stopped on my way, eighth into brackets, snap a few pictures. And your options are first, talked, had talked, third, talked. Second, located, 
locating location. Third, took, had taken, will take. Fourth, to commence, commenced, will commence. Fifth, feel, felt, feeling. Sixth, refreshed, refreshing, refreshment. Seventh, engulfed, had engulfed, will have engulfed. Eighth, to snap, snapped, snapping. So think over guys and answer. I hope you got it. Well, let's have a look at the answer. Whenever we talk of the hill stations of Uttarakhand, Nainital is always at the top of the list. Be it breathtaking landscapes or mesmerizing scenes, Nainital has it. Then located 2000 meters above the sea level, the Naini Lake is a fascinating thing to watch. I will commence. Sorry, this should be take, right? I will take. No, you can't. Point number two, hai na? Wait, three, yeah. I will take a taxi to Nenital from Delhi. As soon as the mountain journey commenced, I immediately felt the gush of cool and fresh air. It refreshed me and took away the lethargy that had engulfed me. I stopped on my way snapping a few pictures. Okay. So I hope you all got it right. Now we continue ahead. Question B. Choose the correct option to fill in the blanks. First question. The minister was impeached because he failed to comply dash the laws of the constitution. A. 2. B by C with. So, what should be the answer for this question? The answer is with. The minister was impeached because he failed to comply with the laws of the constitution. Now question B, second sub-question. Though it was just a lie, she fell it. A into B for C at. So the answer is for. So though it was just a lie, she fell for it. Should be like this. Question number three. In contrast, dash the living room. The master bedroom seems quite small. A with B to C of.
and the correct answer for this question is B. In contrast to the living room, the master bedroom seems quite small. Question number four. Dash all her faults. She is a likable woman. And your options are A. With B. Of C. By And the correct answer for this question is with. With all her faults, she is a likable woman. Question number five. After a long drawn dispute, the two brothers were reconciled dash each other. A. Two. B. Between. C. With. And the correct answer for this question is C. With. After a long drawn dispute, the two brothers were reconciled with each other. Now coming to the next. Question number six. Since there was no other way, he reconciled himself, dash his fate. And your options are A, to, B, with, C, towards. And the correct answer is to. Since there was no other way, he reconciled himself to his fate. Now question number seven, he is liable dash fall in debt for his extravagant expenditure. A, two, B, four, C, off. And the correct answer for this question would be two. He is liable to fall in debt for his extravagant expenditure. Question number eight. He is liable dash his father's debts. A. Two. B. Four. C. With. And the correct answer for this question is for he is liable for his father's debts. Now question C. Choose the correct option to join the following sentences without using and, but or so. So the first one is Mrs. Charania was elected president of the organization. She was an activist fighting for the dis, dispossessed. And the options are A. Mrs. Charania, who was an activist fighting for the dispossessed, was elected president of the organization. B. Mrs. Charania was elected president of the organization since she was an activist fighting for the dispossessed. C. Mrs. Charania was an activist fighting for the dispossessed was elected president of the organization. And the correct answer for this question is C. Mrs. Charania, who was an activist fighting for the dispossessed, was elected president of the organization. Now, again the same, you join the sentences without using and, but, or so. The sentences, he felt tired, he laid his work aside. And your options are A, 
When he felt tired, he laid his work aside. B. Feeling tired, he laid his work aside. C. On feeling tired, he laid his work aside. And the correct answer for this question is C. On feeling tired, he laid his work aside. Again, you need to join the sentences without using and, but, or so. He was ill last term. He was unable to attend the school. A. He was ill last term, so he was unable to attend the school. B. He was so ill last term that he was unable to attend the school. C. Being ill last term, he was unable to attend the school. So the correct answer for this question should be C. Being ill last term, he was unable to attend the school. Again, join the sentences without using and, but also in the sentences. The sun rose, the fog dispersed. And your options are A. While the sun rose, the fog dispersed. B. Since the sun rose, the fog dispersed. C. As the sun rose, the fog dispersed. And the correct answer for this question is C. As the sun rose, the fog dispersed. That's the correct answer. Okay. Now question D. Read each sentence with its instructions and choose the correct answer from the options provided beneath. The first sentence is, Guru Lee was most interested in music. Begin the sentence with nothing. And your options are A. Nothing was of greater interest to Guru Lee than music. B. Nothing was of more interest to Guru Lee than music. C. Nothing interested Guru Lee as much as music. Thank you, Labhansh Gupta. Agar ye sab jo sessions hum le rahe se aapko lab mile in terms of a bright future. तो सही मायने में बहुत बहुत अच्छा लगेगा सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज सी नथिंग इंटरेस्टेड गोडू बी एज मच एज म्यूजिक नॉट द सेकेंड सेंटेंस द स्टीम इंजन वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाय वैट Begin the sentence with what? And your options are A. What invented the steam engine? B. What had invented the steam engine? C. What has invented the steam engine? And the correct answer for this question is What invented the steam engine? Now the third question, gorillas are losing their natural habitat. Rewrite the state sentence adding increasingly. And your options are A. Gorillas are losing their natural habitat increasingly. B. Gorillas are increasingly losing their natural habitat. C. Increasingly gorillas are losing their natural habitat. And the correct answer for this question is B. Gorillas are increasingly losing their natural habitat. Very good, Arushi Shah, Labhansh, smart girl. Very good. Keep it up. And Labhansh, Arushi and smart girl and many of your friends, please remember you can still go back to the playlist of the channel 
and watch the earlier videos on English language, English literature. And you may also find some of the videos that may have been uploaded on subject history, I suppose. Okay. So you please can, you know, watch those videos and keep practicing. And this is a promise on behalf of Intellitics that till your exams get over every day, we shall try to give you many more sessions whichever is possible from our side okay so that you prepare do spread a word about this channel with your friends so that you all can practice together and shine out well in the coming board exams on behalf of my entire intellectual team i wish all my students the very best future now question number four father asked his son why are you late from school today? Write in reported speech. Option A. Father asked his son why he had been late from school that day. B. Father asked his son why he was late from school that day. C. Father asked his son why was he late from school that day. And the correct answer for this question is B. Father asked his son why he was late from school that day. Question number five. She looks just as nice in a pantsuit as she does in a sari. Begin the sentence with the word weather. A. Whether she wears a pantsuit or a sari, she looks nice. B. Whether she wears a pantsuit or a sari, she looks just as nice. C. Whether she is wearing a pantsuit or a sari, she looks just as nice. And the correct answer for this question is A. Whether she wears a pantsuit or a sari, she looks nice. Now question number six. He was too busy to see a doctor. Rewrite without using the word too. And your options are A. He was extremely busy so he could not see a doctor. B. He is so busy that he cannot see a doctor. C. He was so busy that he could not see a doctor. And the correct answer for this question is C. He was so busy that he could not see a doctor. Now, question number seven. I had to open all the windows as it was a very warm night. Change into a simple sentence. A. So warm a night it was that I had to open all the windows. B. Opening all the windows was necessary since it was a very warm night. C. It being a very warm night, I had to open all the windows. And the correct answer for this question is C. It being a warm, very warm night, I had to open all the windows. Question number eight. All the children were wearing blue jackets when they boarded the bus. Begin the sentence with every. And your options are A. Every one of the children were wearing blue jackets. When they boarded the bus. B. Every child was wearing a blue jacket when he boarded the bus. C. Every one of the children was wearing a blue jacket when they boarded the bus. And the correct answer for this question is B. Every child was wearing a blue jacket when he boarded the bus. So, we have solved the fifth test paper on English language.
I know you may have a feel here. It was a feel hobby, yeah. है ना? I hope you all have enjoyed being with us, and it's helping you. I'm sure. Please do comment, do write your suggestions once the video goes off on the channel. And again, we are planning up maybe after some small break, we shall be planning up for a paper on English literature. Okay, so. so we will have a high tea break now okay i know abhi lunch ho gaya abhi ma'am chai bhi pine lage to be honest with you all bache log gala baith gaya hai subah se bad bad karke already i am coughing for a long time and this is the reason i need this break but see you in the evening for sure to uh, solve the english literature paper and also few more language papers okay so till then keep studying and hang on with the channel smart girl please arushi please ensure that you uh, call up your friends also to join in so that all of you will shine up in the coming exams thank you so much smart girl i want each and every child who is watching this channel to shine out well so then i will be healthy back to my life soon okay bachcha lo so see you in the evening without fail hang on please subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel please ensure that you hit the bell icon so that as soon as we plan up we are schedule up for the live streaming session you will surely get a notification and we can start so all my apologies for being late so roughly we can schedule it at around 5 5:30 okay so please hang on thank you so much